just waiting for these hype beasts to get done with their car wash so I can be on my way to Higley. So I'm in the car wash right now. I feel like I can show you guys a little bit. Um, see, there comes the water. Uh, super excited to check out uh, Higley. I haven't really seen much of them, but uh, I heard that they're running back is amazing Drayson Hall uh, their quarterback play is good they got Spencer Brash playing quarterback and they kind of have a history of having some decent quarterbacks there and also on defense I'm looking forward I gotta see this kid uh, Cade Matthews and also I believe uh, his name is uh, Ty Robinson so I believe Ty Robinson's a junior and you know I'm curious I, I want to see uh, coach Z's team uh, play some football I haven't I haven't seen much of them so uh, the next time I check back in I'll be on the road and oh yeah I'm probably gonna have to fill this thing up so there's that more water more life also make sure that you subscribe just chili.tv go ahead and hit that thumbs up and leave a comment let me know if you think that uh, you know like me and or Ralph should come out to your school hit me up let me know at Just Chili, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. So, like I said, I gotta pull up and grab some ice water, more water, more life. The place that I was just at, uh, washing my car, they were super duper packed. So, there's like no parking anywhere. Um, so, I'm gonna fill this thing up. Give me a minute, I'll check back in. Oh yeah. Make sure you guys uh, subscribe and log on and always read my boy uh, Ralph's articles on ArizonaVarsity.com. Uh, Weekly Heroes are posted, I think, every Tuesday. You know, make sure you're always checking in. Also, follow him at AZHSFB. So it looks like I'm here for the homecoming game at Higley. And uh, it's 0 0. I'm walking in a little bit late. And uh, the homecoming cars are dope. I'm gonna go these in my garage. This looks more like Kendall Taylor, Kerry Taylor speed, but Colby Taylor. First quarter's over, it is uh, 37 to nothing, but I got my boy, uh, Higley alumni, uh, Kelvin Fisher over here. Yes, sir. Talk to me, man. Uh, what's really going on right now? <laughs> 
Now my boys out here, you know, they're just doing their thing, they're having fun, and it's just showing on the scoreboard. Um, I mean, they just out here, I mean, they hitting on all cylinders, special teams, defense, offense, they just can't be stopped, you know? Now, you graduated from Higley 2011. And then you took your career to Arkansas, yep. and then you transferred to UTEP. Yep. What's going on since all that? Man, you know, I just been out here supporting them. You know, I got a couple kids that are on the team. You know, I train them in the summer and offseason. One of them, Danny Kittner, that yep. ran that. Had uh, a touchdown, yeah. nice little catch. Handle uh, that business. Yeah, business man. is good for you, huh? Yeah, <laughs> it's looking good as long as the product's looking good on the field. You know, that's all that matters. But for me, I'm just glad they're having fun, man. And at the end of the day, you know, I didn't realize it when I was in high school, but, you know, this is some of the funnest time of your life. So. Yeah, spe speaking of which, uh, when you was in high school, you said that it wasn't like this. Like, it's, it's weird. The student section is weird. They got folks doing push ups. They got the food trucks. You said it wasn't like this when you not were Not at all, not at all. But you know what? The one thing I love about it is that I was, I was able to help pay the way for it all. And the fact that I come back and I see all this, it's a great feeling, man. You know, just have that Higgy Night Pride. Halftime here over at Higley, and Higley's fully dominating uh, Apache Junction. It's 51 to nothing. Um, not too many bright spots for uh, Ladies and gentlemen, Apache and Junction. Not at all tonight. But it is homecoming here at Higley. Uh, student section behind us, and I got just with the Higley finesse. High School. So today home we're going to talk about promposals because it's like homecoming season. Best what is the deal with these proposals that are Abby's starting to trickle down to homecoming? We started with like wedding oh, proposals. Like, willing to help others. Is it really that big of a deal? Somebody yes, asked. Yes, it is. It's such a big deal. There's nothing more special than having somebody make a really big gesture to you to a dance or out on a date, whether it be homecoming or prom or a winter dance or even girls to guys for like Sadie Hawkins. All right, so. Me personally, like, if I'm gonna ask somebody to like prom or get married or whatever, why not just slide in those DMs? Like, I just, you know, that's put you up so real quick. basic in a world of like media developing and social media. But why and do the I internet. gotta make it a Paramount production? Why do I because gotta make it a movie production? Because it's like, it's okay. First of all, you said slide in her DMs to get married. Who are you? Um, can we get some comments below on how ridiculous that is? Um, or maybe like some quoted tweets when we post what, this to Twitter. What, like, what, what like, happened to being simplistic? What happened? to appreciating a simple gesture from a, a man. A DM is not a simple gesture. Um, a simple gesture would be going out to dinner and saying, hey, I'd really like to go to homecoming or prom with you or even a single flower. Cool. The so, first dance I got asked to, the guy gave me a single flower and I was a happy girl. That okay, was a so, good enough gesture. So I take the girl to Mickey D's, I put a little no! flower on the table, grab some Big Macs, split some nuggets, and Are it's all good. Are you serious? At least take her to Kate. Like, yeah, we split a Caniac combo or something. Split. I eat my own Caniac combo. Dang. Just kidding. I can only eat a three-piece. All right. Well, you know, we are out here at homecoming. Higley, the student section, super lit. They super lit over here. Football team's coming back out.
not pass! Excited, you know what I mean? I get to, I made it. I made it. <laughs> on the sideline block, and I had to get Coach Zuby from Higley. And congratulations, big 65 to nothing win. Um, I gotta ask you, because you're part of this coaching fraternity, how do you manage the line of sportsmanship when you're up this big? Man, it's tough. You know what I mean? It's uh, it's something that we talk about all the time. Uh, you know, going that we're halfway through the season and our kids have only played one game. We said we're gonna give them the first half. And uh, you just got to get ready for the playoffs, and uh, it's t it is definitely tough. You already played Sawara. How do you rebound from what was actually your last loss? You guys are four and one now, and prepare for a Seton game that's like six weeks away. Yeah, uh, we just talk about working on execution and effort, trying to get better every single day, and uh, we just got to work on ourselves. And it doesn't matter who the opponent is. All right, now who are some of your players that you feel like aren't getting enough attention that deserve a little bit more love? Oh, it's our offensive line. You got Colin Reese, Jordan G and Zero, Jonathan G and Zero, Dylan Walton, Matt Hicks. Those guys are out there killing it. And then our big guys up front with Avery, uh, Logan, Max well uh, you know Ty Robinson and the sophomore Jackson Solomon for sure. All right, I came out here to check out Cade Matthews. I think he's a really special uh, defensive player. What can you tell me about Cade Matthews that nobody else knows? He's uh, he's a gym rat. He loves the film room. He knows what he's doing. Uh, he's the quarterback out there. He calls our defense. He's super intelligent. All right, and then on the other side of the ball, you got Drayson Hall. The secret's out. He's not a secret anymore. Last yeah. year he exploded, and this year it seems like people are kind of obviously keying on him, uh, which I feel like has opened up some things for Spencer. Spencer Brash. Uh, yeah. What about Spencer? Yeah, Spencer's a great kid. He's a super athlete. You know, he made it to state as a sophomore in track. He's also a pitcher on our baseball team. He's if he wasn't our starting quarterback, he'd be our starting free safety. So he's just a killer athlete. He leads the state in punting too. I, I also noticed that one of your coaches is uh, kind of taking over your job over yeah, here, yeah, talking yeah, to right. the team. So I'm gonna let you go and I'm gonna talk to some of your kids. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Kate Matthews, my D line. They did great tonight. Can make any of the plays I did without him. I mean, so I gotta know, you know. You guys absolutely destroyed Apache Junction. You guys are going to sleepwalk until Seton at the end of the season. What are some of the things that you're looking forward in between this time and that time? Uh, just improving overall. You know, we have a lot of little things to work on, so just perfecting that. All right, and talk to me. How important is it for you to get to the next level play on Saturdays? Uh, you know, it's really important. I have two offers right now, so that's definitely a priority. But trying to win state this year, too, and got it right away. Has anybody talked to you about, you know, you might have to switch positions, maybe move back outside of linebacker and play some defensive back? Uh, Air Force wants me uh, at inside linebacker. And oh, okay. Columbia has mentioned me playing a little bit of Will so some outside linebacker in the past coverage. So. And are you kind of holding out, waiting for the bigger offers to come in? Because I feel like you got to be one of the most slept on players in the state. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'm for sure going to wait it out and just see what I can get. Now, walk me through early on, you kind of set the tone with a big uh, block punt. Walk me through that play. Uh, so, yeah, we've been running that play for about the past two weeks. So the two guys on the end come up first, and then I come up, and normally they're not watching me, so it's just a free shot. All right, so I'm assuming that you kind of got it already circled, the date, uh, state the state championship in Tucson. You guys are probably going to have to look forward to, like, Saguaro or a Seton team, depending on the where the brackets end up. Is that something that, you know, you just kind of know is going to happen? Yeah, and I'm excited for it, too. You know, they're a great team, so I really like playing good competition, so I'm excited for that. I want to play in the game. All right, Gabe Matthews, you already know what it is. The sideline vlog and a... You almost had that. You almost had that bagel up there. <laughs> Disappointing with your second team in there, or how, how do you raise them up? Uh, you know they're doing their best, giving their effort. They have things to work on too, so they just got to improve from there. You know? All right, that's what I like to hear. Yep. Yeah, I'm the quarterback at Higley. I would like to shout out my parents. To always bring me here. Always uh, been on my side. Always been with me. Uh, Drayson Hall exploded on the scene last year. How has that opened the game up for you? It's helped me out a lot. Like with even with me running the ball, it just helps because they're, most teams are keen on Drayson. So when I pull the ball and run. Most of the time, it's, they're not there because they're still keen on Grayson. So it just helps me. him being an athlete that he is, helps me uh, perform the way I can. It helps out the pass, too. Now, you only played for a half. You only played the first half. But uh, you were absolutely dealing, hitting all the wide receivers, uh, letting Grayson get some work. Were you getting tired of watching everybody else walk in the end zone? That's why you decided to take that 79-yard <laughs> keeper. What happened over there? No, I was just, I, I was just one of the plays that I saw. It was just uh, one of the, uh, our coaches helped us teach. It's just it was wide open and saw it, took it and ran. Tried to get there. Now, it seems like Higley uh, is running. What is it right now? 
It's just we're working our way, working our way through the rest of the season. We're trying to do as well as we can, get our execution down, get everything that we have done, and just be perfect that we can the rest of the season just so we can be ready for playoffs. All right, big homecoming win. Congratulations. And, hey, great season so far. You're absolutely killing it. My boy Ralph said that he watched your film, said that your, your film was really, really good. So, you know, I got to show some love. All right. So I'm trying to make my way out of here. Uh, Higley won the game 65-6 to against uh, – Apache Junction against the Prospectors. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to jump this fence to make it to Campo Verde, Williams Field, but it looks locked. Shepard, uh, shout out to my family and all my supporters for coming out and uh, supporting me. I got my boy uh, state championship quarterback, Zach Shepard. You know, everybody like is on the Jack Miller, Spencer Rattler uh, bandwagon. At the beginning of the season, I said that you were the most slept on, most disrespected. What's your take? Um, you know, total respect, first of all, for all the other quarterbacks. They deserve 100% of what they're getting. And I've trained with most of them. You know, I've talked to most of them. And all great kids, great quarterbacks. But my thing is I just got to keep my head down and keep doing me, keep putting in the work. Um, eventually it'll come, you know, where I'm supposed to end up at is where I'm going to end up at at the Fair end enough. of the day. All right, now you guys have had the hiccup against Verado and the hiccup versus Chaparral. Um, is this it? You guys back on track now with this big win versus an undefeated Campo Verde team? Oh, yeah, definitely. This will, this will definitely get us rolling. You know, we still have a lot of work in, uh, in front of us, you know, um, but we're going to stick together as a brotherhood and we're just going to keep going. I remember I, was I talked to you after the state championship victory, and you said that that was just the first of many. Um, you lost a lot of weapons on offense. What do you, what do you have that we haven't seen yet? Nick Cup Allen, um, great athlete, plays basketball and baseball. Could go Division One in all three sports right there. Uh, Isaiah McMillan, um, great kid, uh, great player. And then two new running backs that are starters, Jordan Neal. Um, and then we got a couple other kids that are rotating in. Um, JT um, and uh, Jackson Barnum, both really good lead backs and all that. What was the bigger victory, the state championship or getting your coach that 100? <laughs> I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to uh, decide on that one. But Coach Campbell deserves every single win that he gets, and I think his record's like 100 and maybe like 16 or something. So I mean, it's just incredible. But since you got him the state championship ring and the hundredth victory, does that make you the best quarterback he's ever coached? <laughs> I just gotta ask. Him. I I'm just curious. I don't know. You'd have to ask him that one. And I'm gonna do that. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Zach. I got the head coach of the Williamsfield team out here, and the Blackhawks are now with their 100th victory thanks to you. I just asked Zach Shepard this question. Since he got you the ring and got you the 100th victory, <laughs> does that make him the best quarterback that you've ever coached? I, I, there's no <laughs> way I could even say that to him right now because he still has a year and a half left with me, and that would just completely go to his head. So, um, no, of course not. You know, you okay. Gotta keep, you got to keep him hungry for you know to want to to want to do stuff for you. Fair enough. And I got to ask you, you know, uh, you lost a lot of weapons from uh, the state championship team. How are you reloading? Um, you know, just just getting guys. Uh, I mean, figuring out what their strengths are, figuring out what, what, what we can use, how we can use them and stuff. And, and every week it's been a, it's been a, a work in progress. And, uh, you know, Cup today, he, had, he came out and he had the, the breakout game that, that we, we, were, we knew he had in him. Um, and hopefully that propels him to, to continue doing great things for the rest of the season. Walk me through the last five minutes of this game. Yeah, it was, it was pretty intense, you know. I mean, it was it was kind of the tell of two different quarters almost. You know, we came out in the third quarter and we just ran the ball and, and push, push, push on it. And then, uh, you know, at the end of the game, we, we had to throw throw for the throw for the win. So, uh, you know, it's 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 uh, it was it was a, a, a great night. You know, defense played their butts off. Um, you know, they, they they made the stops when they had to make stops, and it, it was just a exciting night. Now, I know that you don't want to go too far into it. I'm pretty sure you don't. I think that Zach Shepard's easily deserving of being one of the mentioned amongst the top five quarterbacks in the state, regardless of class. Yeah. Do you I'm, think that he slept on a little bit? Oh, oh I, I've said that on a number of interviews this year. Is, is he is unbelievably slept on um, because you know maybe he's he's uh, you know two inches shorter than this kid or, or this kid's got a tenth of a second on the forty time on him and, and things like that. But but um, you know you saw it in that last drive that what he brings to the table, which was which is just in, in big moments makes big plays. I mean, nothing. I swear. Like, like what was poured on you, just yeah, ice. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, he is, it is, uh, you know, there is, 
I, he's had games where you know it, 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 he is just the most level-headed kid, and the good thing is he balances me out a little bit because you know I'll be I'll be I'll be going crazy. He's like, all right, coach, we got it, you know, <laughs> you know, whatever. So um, yeah, he's 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 something special, that's for sure. And and uh, you know, it, it just he, I, I, I think that at some point, some it, it's, it's gonna it's gonna pop in everybody's mind, and all of a sudden they'll be saying, uh, where does Zach Shepard kid come from? And he's been here the whole time. I know you got a group of special kids over there that are waiting for you to say a couple things to them. What are you gonna tell them? Uh, just proud of them. Proud, you know, our, our halftime message was was find a way. You know, find a way. You know, make a play. Find a way. Do your job, and and and, and find a way. And they did. And that's you know, I'm just proud proud of the heck of them because. Uh, you know, it, it's not. It, it, that's easier said than done. When you, when you got to realize that we just came off two losses, which hasn't happened in this program since our very first season. Very, very first season. So to have back-to-back -back losses and these guys come out and and believe in each other and believe in what we're doing um, was huge. All right, coach. Thanks a lot.